She says, I have a problem. Some people use the ayah that do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies. And he says that we have to stop using the Gregorian calendar and we have to stop uh, learning their uh, language as this is part of imitating them. That, and he's confused. Well, there's no need to be confused. First of all, what is not permissible to imitate them in, as the Prophet said والسلام, in the hadith of Ibn Umar, the long hadith, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, he said at the end, وَمَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ فَهُوْ مِنْهُمْ And whoever imitates a people, he's among them. He's from them. So scholars clarified that imitating them is to imitate them in the customs and the religion and the traditions and how they look and what they wear so that anyone who sees you would think that you are one of them. I have learned their language. So if I take off my Arab dress and put on my t-shirt and jeans, would anybody seeing me or listening to me doubt that I'm a Muslim? Of course not. Even if I speak English, they would definitely acknowledge that I am a Muslim by the way I look, by the way I dress, by the way I behave. But when someone follows their customs, if someone is with them in a church on a Sunday, people would say that this is a kafir, he's a Christian. If someone is celebrating the Diwali or putting a Christmas tree, a, a tree and light it up in his house, they would say he's a Christian. So this is prohibited. Learning their language due to studying, to give da'wah, because this is your country and this is your native uh, language, your mother tongue, there's no problem in that. But when we are Arabs, two of us, and we abandon Arabic and we start a conversation in English, whoa, mashallah, intellectual, sophisticated, uh, this is haram. You're Arabs, why are you talking in English? Uh, but it's easier to communicate. No, it's not easier to communicate. You have an inferiority complex. You have a problem. The problem is here. Be proud of your religion. Be proud of who you are. So what about using Gregorian calendar? Yes, this is something that is a problem because the Muslims must, I reiterate, the Muslims must feel honored and proud with their heritage and their tradition. So we should not use the Gregorian calendar except as an auxiliary, something uh, uh, inferior and second. We always have to speak about the Hijri calendar. And it's shameful when you go and ask people in the West, Akhi, which year are we in, in the Hijri years? And, Duh, I don't know. Which month? I don't know, who cares? It's not Ramadan. We care only when Ramadan comes. Subhanallah, this is something that all Muslims should abide by like the disbelievers abide by their heritage, by their language, by their culture. Why is it always the Muslims and the Arabs are treated as second class because they look at, it, at themselves as second class? And they are. If they abandon their religion, they're third class. But if they abide by their religion, by the Sunnah, and they're proud of it, then they can be not only first class, they can be even flying the airplane.